Let's see. Where do we think these are gonna land? Uh oh. Uh oh. We might be destroying some buildings that we weren't supposed to be destroying. The city's gonna be very, very angry with the military after this. All right. Well, let's just let this happen. <laughs> Oops. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Brick Rigs, and today we are going to be blowing some stuff up. Now obviously, I've got the P38 Lightning out. I do need to make a correction about one of my last episodes. I kept calling this thing a bomber, and it is actually a heavy fighter. It just so happens to have a couple bombs on it, but we are going to be using this thing here today. I've got a whole lot of creations that I do want to check out here. Uh, this one's actually by Joey Jazz, and you know what? The military has been contracted out to go ahead and do a bit of construction in the city. I've got a really, really awesome building over here. You can actually see it lags a little bit. This is an apartment complex by Sean, and this thing is really cool, and I really want to see how it blows up. So, today is going to be a little bit of a all-over-the-place episode with a lot of destruction, uh, blowing stuff up, Trying to make some little challenges, and overall just checking out some really awesome creations. You know, I guess before we blow this thing up, we should probably actually look at it. This thing is so fantastic looking. Like, who has the patience to build this in brick rigs? I know I don't. Uh, we can barely spit out something in 20 minutes that looks decent. Now, look at this. It's even got a little car. Does this, uh, this car drive? Or does the whole apartment building drive? No, okay, the car doesn't drive. It's just kind of parked out here. But, oh, okay. Somehow we got out the back side of it. All right, so let's walk around here. Ooh, what is that? Why is there bombs in the bottom of this? Kind of, I just really want to hit those, but I guess we better wait. So, yeah, we're, we've been contracted out here. We've got to clear out these buildings. They're going to make a new development. We're going to do a, some new stuff for Brick Rig. So, obviously, they don't call a construction company. They call the army. So, we're going to come into here. Uh, is there any stuff still? Oh, there is some stuff in these apartments. Uh, a little TV here. Looks like, that actually looks like a VCR tape. I guess it's supposed to be a remote. I don't know why that reminds me of a VCR tape, but... Got that, uh, you got your bedroom in here. Is that a toilet right by the bed? I mean, that's really convenient, but I don't know if that's what that is or not. Uh, oh. Oh, let's get some weird stairs. Let's go up those here in a second. What's over here in... Oh! Oh, this is why, uh... This is why we need to get rid of these buildings. What are they doing under here? Why are there bombs underneath the building? All right, we're gonna completely ignore that. Uh, let's go ahead and go back up here. Let's walk upstairs real quick. I believe both apartments are exactly the same, so we don't need to actually go through them. Uh, okay. Oh, what? Wait, what? Is three stories? Okay, this is kind of crazy. Uh, a couple empty bedrooms here. You got a nice balcony. You got a nice view of the city. Too bad the building's gotta go. Uh, let's go ahead and walk up this set of stairs real quick and check out what's up here. I have a feeling this building is gonna be... There's a fourth floor. Okay. Alright, uh, yeah, this building's probably gonna be kinda hard to take down. I'm hoping those bombs penetrate it and try to blow off the front of it. I have a feeling this might also be very laggy. This looks like an attic. Alright, so, anyways, let's go head back over to the airport. We're gonna go grab the P-38 and we are gonna bomb this apartment complex and try to clear it out for the city. And maybe we'll get some more contracts if we, uh, complete this job. All right, here we go. We are going to take out this apartment complex. We got it lined up in our sights. I am wobbling. All right, here we go. Here we go. Slow-mo real quick because I do want to get in position camera-wise. And, oh, that looks so epic. I don't know if this is going to work, though. Oh, this might be a dead-on hit. Here we go. Oh, wait. Uh-oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, and we've frozen. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Um, What? Really? That was it? <laughs> we took a chunk out the side of this? Okay, uh... That doesn't make sense. The bombs, they they went off. Uh, what do we do? What's the damage look like? It looks like we collapsed, partially collapsed a floor here. Made a big hole. Uh-oh. The, uh, the plane's kind of on the tracks there. Uh... Oh, here comes the train. Actually, look at the hole in the back of the building. Told you guys, that building's pretty sturdy. We might have to be a little bit more creative when trying to eliminate this apartment complex. But, obviously, he got some trains versus planes here, so here we go! <laughs> oh! Well, that was anticlimactic. Alright, well, 
we gotta go find something that is a little bit bigger to try to take this thing out because obviously this is a tough cookie here. Alright guys, we gotta bring out the big guns for this one. We've got the B-17 bomber here, the dog. This is by Tom Loco. And check this out, this thing is loaded with bombs. It's got bombs everywhere. I even think it's got bombs in here. I don't know how to open this. We might want to open this before. Uh, let's see, actuate, page up and down. Can we do that from the ground? We need to do that as soon as we, uh, as soon as we get out. Because if we drop those bombs inside the plane, it's going to be game over for us. So, okay, let's see. B-17. Oh, no, not the hangar. Turn, turn, turn. Okay, this thing doesn't turn. Okay. All right. All right, we're going to boop the hangar. Let's go in reverse. Let's go. Oh, look, it's got little gunners on the side of it. It's got the two little guys in, in there. Does those, those actually work? Oh, they do. Oh, this thing's cool. Okay. You know, we could probably use this for... Uh oh oops. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, here, let's just let's just set this at the end of the runway. If we could spawn this in multiplayer, this would probably be one of the most awesome challenges ever. We can have some sort of bombing challenge, unlike the P-38 thing that we did, which wasn't a bomber, and you guys were sure to let me know about that. Uh, but we're not going to talk about that anymore. But yeah, uh, apparently... Let's see, let's go... Oh, this thing's a little, little funky. It's like its nose is wanting to dip. Okay, that turns those. One of these opens the bomb bay doors at the bottom, which I have a feeling if we don't open those, we are really in bad shape. So we're gonna swing around. We're gonna drop the bombs on the apartment complex, and I think we hit the three key to detonate them. We're gonna approach this from the rear because I don't think this thing's gonna go in between the buildings too well. All right, I can see the apartment complex. There isn't really a decent actually is this a bomb view uh, okay we're gonna have to do this by just try to do it behind the plane here all right here we go we are gonna slow down let's go ahead and start dropping bombs slow down time let's see where do we think these are gonna land uh-oh uh-oh we might be destroying some buildings that we weren't supposed to be destroying the city's gonna be very very angry with the military after this all right well let's just let this happen <laughs> Oops, um, that was off target by, I would say, almost a whole block. Oh, we just took down another building. Okay, well, you know, maybe we do need to come in from the front. That way we, if we do overshoot it, we avoid the collateral damage of all the other buildings. Um, let's go reset real quick. All right, Komodo's Construction Company slash military slash, uh, I have no clue what I'm doing here. We're going to line up, but we actually seem pretty good this time. We are... Man, we're good with this road. We're gonna hit this apartment complex. Uh, let's see. Here we go. I'm gonna raise up a little bit. I'm trying to lead my target. Let's go ahead. Get ready to drop our bombs. Oh, we're tilting. We're tilting. Here we go. Drop the bombs. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, those are gonna hit. Actually, the plane might hit too. Okay, well, I guess that's an effective way to take this out. Let's go ahead. Resume. Uh oh, we got it. Oh, it froze. Oh, oh, there we go. I think. Hold on. Come on, Brick Ricks. Keep up. I mean, I'm hearing tons of explosions. Something's happening. We're tipping it. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. Yeah, eventually this will come back to us, guys. I promise. Oh, boy. I have no clue what's happening. I don't think Brick Ricks knows what's going on either. Uh, I've detonated the bombs. The apartment complex is moved. But I wouldn't say it's actually been destroyed. Alright, I think we're getting our frames back here. Oh boy. Look at that! The building is still pretty much whole. Oh boy. Oh, this is terrible. <laughs> I'm getting like two frames. Okay, it's it's coming back, it's coming back. Everything's starting to settle out a little bit here. So one bad thing about oh the train is really gonna hit the Okay, no, the train passed by. Well, that isn't exactly how I wanted that to work out. Uh, we have tipped the building over. The building is still whole. Like, I don't get it. Uh-oh. Uh oh the building's on fire. All right, well, that's going to slowly eat away at the building. That's not bad. We're still getting some frame rate drops. I'm going to despawn the, uh, the bomber here. But, you know, that might be a job well done. I'm not sure. I still feel like there's a lot of pieces here in the way. For where we're gonna stick the new building so um, maybe we need to grab one more uh, vehicle here that might be able to finish this thing off we gotta break it down we gotta make it easy to move out so uh, this thing's gonna burn down completely I think 
Alright, the military has decided to take a ground approach here to taking out the rest of this apartment complex. Uh, we do have, I think this is by Ray, oh, we'll call it Ray Arms, I think his name's like Ray Domix. Uh, we've used this before in a multiplayer match. This is the K-10 missile launcher, and this is one of the most awesome missile launchers ever in Brick Rig. So I definitely want to thank Mr. Gray uh, for introducing me to this. Uh, so, let's see. I think if we hit the bottom of this bad boy, it should collapse in half. And we should be ready to move in the new building. So, let's go ahead and do a little bit of aiming here. I think, well, let's see. Let's hit it about right here. Zoom out a bit. Got to get a good view of this. All right, here we go. Let's light it up. We're going to do this in slow-mo. That way I can pan the camera over and then we'll speed it up as soon as this thing makes contact. So, we're in alt mode. Let's go ahead and fire up the rocket slow-mo. And we are going to release them all. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm already getting frame rate drops. Oh, this is going to be so awesome. Wait, where are they going? Uh, okay, well, they kind of have a mind of their own, and they're going to kind of go, I guess, down to the... B really? Uh-oh. Oh, some pieces just hit it. Okay. <laughs> that didn't work. Uh, did it work? Nope, that didn't work. Oh, it did work. Well, that didn't work as intended. We'll call it that. Now, the apartment complex is leaning back this way, and it might tip back over. But the rockets themselves actually didn't make the contact that I was hoping they would make. Alright, we're going to get a second opinion here. I think we're going to do this one more time. Uh, we're going to aim up this time because these things tend to go down for some reason. So, slow-mo it. Let's go. Three, four. I got to release them all. Okay, this should be the good shot. This is probably going to freeze and or crash the game, but as long as we're successful here, I'm actually fairly satisfied with this. And Oh, boy. That is what I'm talking about. Let's keep it in slow-mo because we're going to get such a severe frame rate drop. I know it changes the physics a bit, but oh, 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 that's what I was looking for. Oh my, look at all the pieces. Hey, look, I think we've cleared it out. <laughs> There's so much death and destruction. All right, I wonder what happens if I speed this back up. What's going to happen? We're probably going to slow down a whole lot. Let's go ahead. Can we clear the railroad tracks? Oh, it's going to land right. Oh, it is going to land right on the train tracks. Is it not? Oh, 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 what's that noise? Oh, oh, I don't know how that happened. We're gonna ignore that. Oh, here comes the train. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? I would say that apartment complex is uh, fairly out of the way now. We are still getting our frame rate drops. Uh, somebody still has to clean up the mess of all the leftover pieces, but for the most part, I'm pretty happy with the uh, destruction there. It seems like it's still falling apart. It's potentially on fire now. And yeah, that uh, apartment complex has seen better days. Uh, we're going to kind of watch it collapse here and just see what happens if it just completely destroys itself or it's going to try to stay whole. You know, I must say, this was a job well done. We moved the apartment complex out of the way. We even cleared the railroad tracks with it. So, i say that was a pretty good job by the army here. Uh, we really need to clean up the rest of this mess because it is laggy. Uh, there's where the apartment complex was once at. Of course, uh, we might have had a couple accidents where we took out a couple buildings, but we're going to completely ignore that. That's not a... Uh, it doesn't affect us. The only thing the city really asked for was for us to move the apartment complex. So, we're gonna give this thing a little bit of a cleanup, and then I've got a little building that we're gonna need to move over here, and it's gonna be a nice new skyscraper for this side. Alright, so here is the new building that's gonna go in the place of the apartment complex. This is a skyscraper truck made by Alex. Uh, he's actually a member of our Discord. He's a pretty cool dude, and I must say, this is probably going to be a challenge. Uh, there's this little truck under here that this skyscraper is balanced on. So, uh, we need to get this over there. How does this thing drive? This drives actually fairly well. He says it's got some sort of anti-tipping mechanism, which I kind of want to say it's all the pieces that go out and all those wheels. I think so, but he says if you get it above like 42 kilometers an hour, it might tip over, but it's okay, we know what we're doing. We are a professional construction crew, people, thing, and I think this is going to work. This is really cool looking. This is so odd. Look how fast this is going for something that has a skyscraper on top of the car. That really makes no sense. And <laughs> Okay, I just want... Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. I thought we were going to hit a uh, fuel tank there. Okay, I wanted to see if that worked. Okay, so obviously we we're going about 60 there. It does tip. Uh, let's try to keep it below 42 here. We're gonna reset. It's cool. We got this. Uh, I hope... Yeah, we're as wide as the road. We should be able to get over the train bridge. Gotta be careful here. The whole building is just swaying. 
It's got this crazy swaying motion. You're just waiting for it to snap. Uh, most times, brick rigs. Uh, oh, up, 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 up. Okay, we're good. Yeah, most times, brick rigs. Uh, structures and vehicles are. I'm only going 20 here. I'm only going 20. I'm only going 20. Up. Oh, oh. Okay. Uh, let's try that again. Look at the ominous shadow that is passing through the city. <laughs> this is so cool. All right, we are almost in position for where this building is going to stand. Uh, we are good. That's just so awesome knowing something this tall is actually, uh, it's getting through fairly well. We've only tipped over twice, so I would say it's a, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, <gasps> calm down. Nope, 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 nope. Don't do it. Don't tip. We're almost there. Uh-oh. Oh, hey. That building actually just propped us up. That's good. That's a good thing. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead. Uh, we're going to respawn right here. There we go. I know it's kind of cheating, but I really don't care. Uh, we're going to park right here at the end of the block, and uh, we probably should... Is the Dave's... Is the signage on the front, or is it on the back, too? Okay, it's in the back, too. Okay, we should probably... We can park right here. Put the parking brake... What the heck? Hey! <laughs> hey! No, no! Save it! Save it! Save it! Save it! Okay. You know what? There we go. We're just gonna place it right here. Okay, so Dave's construction or Dave's uh, skyscraper tower is now in place. We can have all the new residents come and live, and it looks so great. It looks, I mean, that apartment complex was pretty rad, but this thing looks cool because it's really tall like the rest of the buildings in the city, or at least the ones that we haven't taken out. But yeah, that looks pretty good. Uh, let's go check out some more creations. Okay, this just in. The city wasn't happy with our placement of the new skyscraper. Apparently, we have it on the wrong block, which I don't understand what was the point of us taking out the apartment complex. But we have to go take it out, or we're going we're gonna to move it. Let's not say take it out. I've got this tow truck here. It's the Jamie Davis Heavy Rescue. Well, we're not going to be rescuing anything. Uh, this is made by Alex also. He also made the uh, skyscraper, and I've apparently blown out all tires already. This has gone well. This has gone really well. So yeah, we're gonna have to tow this. I probably should call in the other Bob, uh, but the other Bob's in the process of moving right now, so uh, we're gonna have to do this solo here, and I think we can actually get this done. I mean, technically the skyscraper is on wheels, so all we gotta do is slow down, stop, stop. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see, how do we control this? Oh, okay. Uh, we got some flat tires on the front. We're going to need to fix those before we start towing this thing. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to hook on the back. Actually, we should probably hook on where the wheels are actually aimed, opposed to trying to drag this thing. So, I think if we hook on the back here, we should be okay. We've got a couple of uh, winches back there, so we should be able to uh, hopefully pull this thing to where the city actually wants it. All right, so we are backed up to the uh, skyscraper here. We're going to go ahead. Let's pitch this thing up a bit. This thing looks a little bit more uh, complicated than my last tow truck. So we're going to have to look here. I don't know why I have a gun in my hand. Let's go ahead and put that away. Uh, that portion of the job is already done. Let's go ahead, pick you up. And uh, what looks to be the safest point to hook onto? Let's hook onto the back of the truck here. So we're going to engage right there. And we are going to engage right here. This looks perfectly safe. Like, this is going to work, obviously, because this is brick rigs, and anything's possible in brick rigs, I think. So let's hop into here. Look at Bob. He's just chilling. He's got his uh, arm out the window there. He knows what's up. So here we go. Let's go ahead. <laughs> what the? <laughs> I think I just lost all my back tires, and we broke the, uh, the arm off. Hmm. This thing didn't want to move, did it? Can we? Wait, what? <laughs> we can still drive. Hey, this thing actually drives pretty good <laughs> with just two wheels. Okay, uh, so we're going to ax that idea. That obviously didn't work. We need another way to move this. Um, let me go back to the workshop real quick. Uh, sorry, Alex. I didn't mean to break your tow truck there. We'll, we'll just borrow a new one. All right, we got Old Faithful here. This is made by Trance. This is uh, one of the ones that we used in one of our episodes for Bob and Bob towing. And I know it's kind of like a flatbed, but it's got a ton of hooks on it. So I feel like this is going to work. Oh, boy. We kind of need to get that out of the way. You know what? Maybe we are going to try to tow it from the side just to see 
what happens. Because I think it might be logical to do that. I'm not really sure. I need to go put the parking brake on, though. All right, we're going to try a different approach here. We're actually going to hook on to the building itself because uh, that makes sense. Look at all this towing power. This is totally going to work, guys. And Okay, fine. Let's, let's try it again. All right, look at this towing power, guys. This is totally going to work. Like that. All right, that looks like plenty of support. Maybe I should back up to it and then take off. That seems like it might work. So, let's go ahead. We're going to back up to it. Get some slack in the ropes. And let's go ahead and take off. Let's do this. Let's do this. This is working. Oh my, this is actually working. What the heck? How in the heck is this actually working? We are towing a full building with a car. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's okay. Wow, that's actually got a really strong cab jet. All right, let's keep dragging it. We're okay. Uh, Bob is... Uh-oh. All right, uh, I feel like that front one might need to be unhooked since we're in a bit of a pickle here uh, with the building falling down. Uh, let's go ahead and unhook the front. Let's see, where do you lead? You are right. You're right. Uh, you're somewhere. Disengage. Let's just disengage both of these. I can't tell which one it is. There we go. So the front's unhooked. Uh, we should be able to drag it now. So let's go ahead and get into here. There we go. Come on. Come on. Okay. I feel like we might have moved it wrong. Uh, let's go ahead and... Maybe we should push this thing. That might be the... An oh. I just broke those off. Alright. Well, I've got one last solution. Uh, the city wants it on the train tracks. Uh, so, I guess I should go grab a bulldozer and push the thing over there. Because I don't think towing it's going to work now since it's uh, on its side. Alright, a bulldozer has arrived on scene. This is made by Mad Max. And I think this thing's going to work. We gotta ease into it. You might, you know, maybe we should turn indestructible mode on. We'll see how this uh, this front handles running into this building. Let's slow it down a bit. Goes the train. All right, come on. Up, oh, nope. We're actually stuck. Can we move this bucket up? I'm sure there's a way to move this up. Let's go into alt mode. Let's go and hit some of the number keys. Uh, okay, maybe there isn't. I'm sure there is, but I'm just not I'm not reading it right. Okay, uh. Let's, uh, let's get a running start here. Let's avoid all the pieces, and... Nope! Oh, nope! Oh. Huh. That didn't work as intended. I was hoping this would be more pushing action, opposed to me just running into it. Alright, Bob's got a new plan. Bob's gonna just do the original plan, and... Oh, there isn't much roof to grab on here. Uh, let's see. Okay, there goes Mr. Train. Uh, we're in the clear. We're gonna try... This seems to be the most effective method of pushing. Uh, the bulldozer doesn't seem to really want to make it go forward, so let's go ahead and just hook right back into here. No, not engage. Uh, we need something that doesn't look like it's going to rip off. Actually, this little piece right in here. There we go. We've got to be able to drag it. Let's go ahead and grab one more here. There you are. And hook you right into the gray right here. There we go. All right, we should be able to pull this building. Maybe this is the angle we need to take. I'm like a professional tower now now in brick rigs. Like this just feels right. Up. Oh, up. Oh, oh, we really need a second puller here. Uh, we're gonna do this. This is gonna happen. This is gonna happen. Oh, <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on. Can we can we make the ropes go in? No, not extend. How do we make them go back? This is not work, folks. This isn't gonna work. I guess the city's gonna have to be satisfied uh, with how we move this thing. Here we go. Yank! Oh, it's... Hey, it actually is budging a bit. Oh, it is moving. It's moving slowly, but it's moving. Uh, let's go ahead and let the train pass by real quick. We're going to give it a good tug here and see if we can get it on the tracks. There we go. Yoink. There we go. All right, this is going to take a couple tries here, but we're going to tug this thing forward. See, watch this. Boom, it moves. So we're moving about two feet at a time right now, but this is going to work. I'm telling you guys. I, I know what I'm doing. I am professional tower and brick rigs. Oh, 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 here we go, here we go. Come on, I need you to go a little further. <laughs> here we go, the city's gonna be so proud of us. They're gonna be so happy with us here. Oh, almost there, here comes the train. Here it comes. Oh, no. 
Oh, I love destruction. Well, I feel like that was a job well done. Obviously, there's a bit of a mess, but we have successfully moved the building as to what the city wants to actually move on the block now. I have no clue. I don't know, maybe they should make a nice little park or something. Maybe in memorial of the, uh, the old apartment complex. But anyways, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Brick Rigs. If you'd like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. Uh, we will be returning back with some more multiplayer Brick Rigs really soon. I just kind of thought I'd do a little bit of a solo episode here. Uh, maybe hopefully Bob will be back soon and we can do some more towing stuff. So if you guys have any suggestions for future Brick Rigs episodes, comment below. Let me know what you want to see. Got some other games coming really soon. We got a couple new ones we're going to look at. We'll see if we make some videos on those. Got some more scrap mechanic coming. Got some more Stormworks coming. So anyways, hope you guys have a great day. And we will see you guys next time on Brick Rigs. Thank you.